sucks. Friday morning, we're at the gym. Need to go get in a nice Friday workout. And then I need to run some errands. Keegan's sister is flying in today because we have a bridal shower to attend tomorrow for their cousin. So I also have some other stuff that I need to do for that. I need to get the rest of the games that we're gonna be playing printed out, like the rules and stuff of the game. I wanna get those printed out. Sorry, the sun just decided to make a statement, so I look very washed out. I need to make sure that I charge my camera and everything like that because I'll be taking the photos tomorrow. I might have to pick up Kavashni from the airport, I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna get a workout in while I can. Okay, I just came out of the biggest editing hall. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I went to the gym this morning and I came back right after the gym without going and running the other errands that I needed to do because I just felt gross and sticky and sweaty and stuff and I just wanted to have a shower. And then yeah, I fell into this big editing hall. I was just like, you know what, just get it done and then upload it so that it's live tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing. And like I said, it's two o'clock now. I'm heading out. I need to go and print out a couple of the games that we will be playing tomorrow at the bridal shower. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna wear to that. And the theme is like tropical. Mm. Help, <laughs> wonderful. It just started raining, but it's fine. I'm still gonna go and do that. And then I wanna start getting my nieces and nephews their Christmas outfits because I didn't do that the other day because of that lady that pissed me off. It's really raining. The sun is out and it's raining. What did, did you guys also used to say that monkeys are getting married if it's raining while the sun's out? I remember we used to say that every time that this happened back in primary and high school. This day has just turned out to be so good. I have not donated blood since I was in the East Rand because I used to just go to East Rand Mall so often. It, I would always see it and I knew where to go. But on this side of town, I have no idea where to go if I want to donate blood. And so I came to just one of the malls that was convenient and SANBS was there. So I got to donate blood and be a good citizen and do all the great stuff. This time I even got a toiletry bag. I haven't even opened it yet. It's still in plastic. But they gave me a toiletry bag. They say every second time you donate, you get a gift. So this is so fun. And then I was able to print everything for the games. I don't want to do too much stuff that's too interactive because of COVID. I got a few things for my nieces and nephews. I'll show you guys. I'll do a little haul when I get home. I want to quickly show you guys everything that I got for my nieces and nephews. I haven't gotten them everything I want to get them yet, but this is everything that I got from Pick and Pay Clothing. Let me go from youngest. Okay, so my brother actually just had a son, and he's about a month, if not six weeks old. But I decided to just get him a couple of onesies from Pick and Pay Clothing, well, especially because it's summer. But these are three to six month size, so they're definitely not going to fit him right now. But hopefully at some point and then we've got for baby liana that you guys have seen on the vlog for baby liana i got her this cute little yellow dress with strawberries all over how cute is this you guys this is gonna be adorable oh my gosh and apparently she's gaining weight fast so this should fit her my other sister has a daughter who's about one and a half at this point her name is naomi and for her i got her these two little jumpsuits see there's this one with like a unicorn on it right is that a you no it's a crab it's a crab <laughs> how did i get that so wrong i thought it was a unicorn anyway it's got a crab on it it's so cute it's this little jumpsuit and there's another one that came with it with these little love hearts everywhere i think the patterns are so fun so this should be fun for her to wear in summer and then i also got her a dress this is what had unicorns all over it i got her a little striped dress with unicorns that should be fun. And then this is the best thing I found. And that's a little hat and sunglass combo. My sister is the girliest person I know. So hopefully Naomi is just as girly as my sister and will appreciate the pink 
sunglasses as much as my sister would. And the hat has rainbows all over it. How cute is that, you guys? Think for Naomi, I've got pretty much everything. I just need to get her a pair of shoes and then I'll be done. But everyone else, I still need to go back and find them more things. And then for my nephew Enzo, I think you guys have seen him on this channel before. I'm not too sure. But my other older sister um, has a son and his name is Enzo. And they live in Durban, really close to the beach. So I decided to get him this dinosaur swimsuit which I think is just so cute. And like I keep saying, it's summer, so hopefully he can enjoy some beach days or pool days in that outfit. That's everything I got the kids. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening watching Good Doctor and painting my nails. Honestly, that just sounds phenomenal. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. Ugh, I don't even have my watch, it's charging. It is, it's quarter to eight in the morning. Mm. I'm just having my coffee and getting all of the games that we'll be playing together. We've got Guess the Guest Bingo. And we've got like little advice cards and things. So I'm going to be cutting those just a little bit better. We're also going to be playing Guess the Dress. I just made these on Canva. Put them together and then printed them out. This is a fun one so that all of us guests can guess what the bride will be wearing on her big day and then I guess she'll pick whoever is closest to the actual dress and then this one is my favorite this musical bouquet it's you can just screenshot this so you can read the rules but it's basically like um, musical chairs but with a bridal twist for a bridal shower so that's cool I'm currently wrapping a gift for the bride I'm sure you've seen these everywhere but I got her two of these little like cute bubble candles whatever they're called I don't know I need to put you on charge. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear with a tropical theme. We'll see. Okay, we had to move stuff inside because... Oh, this rave. flowers from last night but I desperately need a coffee good morning friends it is Sunday yes that took me a second it's Sunday yesterday was so much fun 
the bridal shower was just so sweet and so wholesome and everyone was so positive and full of love and full of just wishing the best for Nastasha, who is Keegan's cousin. Her wedding day is in 37 days, well 36 days now, so we're excited to celebrate with them, but it was really fun to be part of the bridal shower. Of course it didn't come without people going, oh you're next, you're next, and I'm like, where? Actually, the day didn't go as planned in the beginning because the whole setup was supposed to be outside, but then a bunch of thunderstorm clouds started coming in, so they moved all the tables and the table settings and everything inside, and then it did rain for like half an hour, and it came pouring down, so we had to try to like save all the decor that we could and try to put it inside the bar area, and then just as quickly as the rain started, it was over. So it was this whole mad dash to save everything and then we had to take everything back outside to try to reset it up just to make it work again because the whole point of having it at the house that we had it at was because they had a nice big yard and wanted to do everything outside because of COVID as well and everything like that. So it was so much fun though. All the ladies there were stunning. It was a tropical theme. Everybody dressed accordingly. It was just a fun time. And then in the evening, we ended up having so much food, a bit too much food. So whenever like a husband or boyfriend came came over to fetch their respective lady, um, the rest of us would be like, oh, go inside and dish up. There's so much food. <laughs> there is so much food. I even made Keegan come and eat even though he had cooked dinner for us. I felt so bad, but it's fine. Now we've got dinner for today and tomorrow sorted. Bride seemed really happy with the turnout and just the way everything went it seemed to be really good overall. Slept in this morning as much as I possibly could and had a shower, had coffee, even washed my hair. Oh my gosh, so productive. And I'm at the store now. I'm at Fresh House Market. I'm about to go in just to get us some fresh produce for the week and lunch for today. They close at 1, so I really should stop talking because it's 12.35 right now. And we just started watching Shang-Chi and I made Keegan stop it like 20 minutes in so that I could come here and get the stuff so that I can go home and we can spend the rest of the day watching the movie. And then I need to actually spend the evening reading a nice wholesome indoor Sunday. Here we go. I've got two mangoes, strawberries, three things of blueberries, bananas, and potatoes. This market is at Blueberry Square, by the way. And they've got this cool food truck here outside the market. And all of these, I can attest that all of these are delicious. So I'm getting some. Yeah, Bonga. Hello friends, happy Monday. It's literally 6 p.m. right now. Went to work the whole day. It was it was a blur of a day. It was a busy, busy blur of a day, um, but it was good. We were nice and busy. We worked on a couple more presentations that we have coming up later this month. We worked on the head of the NGOs, other businesses as well. So, you know, I kind of get to dip my toe in a bunch of different things, which was nice, but it was busy. I got home at about 4, 4.30, I don't know, but it's 6 p.m. now, I'm about to feed Benji. And I think we're gonna go out for dinner, which should be nice. We haven't done that in quite a while, so I'm very excited. Twenty thirteen though? Did you go? No. But then why do you want to buy Justin Bieber tickets now? For Sandy. Okay. Oh that is huge. Did I get you anything else? Oh, it is nice. And you don't really like fish. It tastes tata. I don't know if fish is taste as well. Tata. I've already started eating, but I got the Hake tacos. Keegan got the chicken quesadilla. He says it's the best thing on the menu, right? So I'm gonna give it a try. That's so good. How come you got the better tasting meal? It's so unfair. Look at this taco. Delicious. 
Look at this massive Sunday. I've had such a slow morning. I feel like I'm just struggling today. I'll admit yesterday ended up being like, I don't know, it was fine. The day was fine. And like we even went out to dinner and everything. It was a really good day. And then in the evening, I just started getting really sad about my airline because of the fact that it was my airline's 15th birthday yesterday. Last night was when I started going through social media and seeing all of my colleagues and friends talking about it and I was just like oh man this sucks this just sucks this whole situation because although the plan has been posted and completed and stuff now our parent company kind of disagrees with the business plan the business rescue plan they're basically saying that the funding that my airline is supposed to get is not going to assist with restarting operations so basically my airline can't operate in December which if you're gonna restart operating December is the perfect time to do that because that's, that's when we get the most and can make the most out of our holiday travelers basically we're being told that the money we're gonna get can only be used to restructure which means for these severance packages and retrenchments then we'll have to get an investor which don't get me wrong there are several interested investors in my airline because i honestly believe it's such a good airline so that's promising but it could take months before that deal is actually signed and sealed and before my airline is able to start operating it just it's a tough situation to be in right now and that just makes me very very sad because this should be a hopeful time for us like it just feels like everything is ironically up in the air all over again and that is not a good feeling to have it was quite sad knowing that it was 15 years since my airline took off for the first time and this is the situation we're in but it's fine it is what it is, out of my control, nothing I can do. I am on my way to the office right now and I am going to try my best to make this also a good day. I'm gonna end the vlog here though. It's not like you guys are missing out on much because I know that I would come back later and just say, hey, it was a tough day, it was a busy day. Now I'm making dinner or something, you know, same old, same old. So yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I think I am going to see you again when Vlogmas starts. Until then, please spread good vibes and be kind and have an awesome day, guys. Bye.